The Birth of Venus, Sandro Botticelli. In order to understand Botticelli's Birth of Venus, some background knowledge of Greek mythology is required. It begins with the wrath of the earth goddess Gaia, who, together with her children, is held down and oppressed by her husband, Uranus, the god of heaven. Gaia instructs her youngest son, Kronos, to cut off his father's genitals with a sickle during an act of love and then throw them into the sea. The spray mixes with the blood, the sea begins to foam and brings forth Venus, the goddess of love, sensuality, and beauty. She is blown ashore by the wind god Zephyr. Strictly speaking, therefore, the painting does not describe the birth, but rather the arrival of Venus, who is at the center of the scene. Her delicate body is standing light-footedly on a golden shell, her right leg placed gently as if she is about to run off at any moment. With her right hand, she covers her breasts. With her left, she grasps her long copper-colored hair and covers her pubic area. The goddess of love's head is tilted slightly to one side and her gaze is lowered. She appears calm and relaxed. The left section of the picture shows Zephyr, the god of the wind, and his wife, the nymph Fuchloris. The couple is carried by dark green wings decorated with gold. Flowing cloths partially cover their closely entwined bodies. Their gazes are fixed on Venus and Zephyr's cheeks are still puffed out as if this were the last breath of wind to bring the newly exhausted goddess of love to shore. His facial expression and the arms stretched out behind him testify to a strong will and firm determination. In the right-hand section of the picture stands a goddess of the seasons, a so-called Hora. Her light-colored dress, which makes her the only fully clothed figure in this painting, is adorned with spring flowers. She is therefore the Hora of spring and appears to be awaiting Venus. In her outstretched arms, she holds a pink robe, which is supposed to cover the still-naked goddess. According to Greek mythology, the birth of Venus is said to have simultaneously brought about the spread of rose bushes across the entire mainland. This assumption explains the rosaries that Hor wears around her neck and waist. Around Zephyr and his wife fly numerous other rose blossoms, 